What up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to solve for k. Well, basically what can k not equal to if the following system is consistent? So just for recap, consistency is when there is one unique solution, right? There's one solution or either there is infinite many solutions. That is what consistency is, right? That's what we have to solve for. On the other hand, inconsistency, right? Inconsistency is when you have no solutions, which like in, in some cases you'll find that zero cannot equal to a non-zero number. For example, zero cannot equal to one. That's a non, no solution. It's zero cannot equal to one. It doesn't make sense. That's what inconsistency is. Inconsistency is. So consistency, we have to solve for if this has a solution, if ha this has infinite many solutions, or if this has a unique solution, then K cannot equal to what? So if we're doing this, we're going to draw matrices, right? Just to make life, life simpler. We, we know that this equation is 16X plus 16Y is equal to 8. And we have KX plus 24Y is equal to 16. Right? That's your system of equations. So to draw the matrices, I'm going to, right? It's a 2 by 2, 16, 16, 8. And then K, 24, 16. Don't be afraid of the K. It's just a variable. It's just the uh, parameter that's there. So first of all, in matrices, we want to get a leading one over here, right? So in order to get a leading one over here, we're going to have to divide it by 16 since it's 16 over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a row operation of 1 over 16 times row 1, and I'm going to map that to row 1. And this will give me 1, 1, 8 divided by 16 is 1 half. Right, and then this stays the same, k, 24, 16. So now you got to find out how to make this a zero, how to make this k a zero. And you have to follow the same rules that a matrix is follows. So, so like just because it's a parameter, you don't keep it there. You have to make this a zero. So what we could do is we could do negative k times r1 plus r2, row 2. And I'm going to map this to row 2, which will give me a zero for the bottom row. Right, so we keep the same matrix on the top and on the bottom since we did negative k times r1. So negative k times 1 plus k is 0. This becomes negative k plus 24, so we'll just write it that way. Right? And this is negative k over 2 plus 16. All right, so from here, we can look at it right off the bat. What can k not equal to for the system to be consistent, right? It cannot. So if you look at it the other way around, it cannot. If k is, if, if this element right here, if this element is 0 equals to a non-zero number, right? A non-zero number, then this system is inconsistent. But if this 0 is equal to 0 or this, this, um, or there's a number here that is equal to a number, then that system is consistent or infinity. You know, if, if this is zero and this is zero, then it's infinity. That's when we put parameters, but we don't have to focus on that. For now, what we have to focus on is what can k not equal to. So if k cannot equal to, if this part is zero, then we can conclude that, let's say, let's say k is equal to 24. Let's just say, okay? So if k is equal to 24, then this would mean negative 24 plus 24 is equal to zero, right? k is equal to 0 and this if if I said k is equal to 24 then I would do negative 24 which is right here negative 24 over 2 plus 16 which is negative 12 plus 16 gives me 4 right so if 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 k is 24 I mean if k is 24 right if k is 24 then 0 is equal to 4 right which does not make sense it does not exist this does not exist. So this is for the following system to be inconsistent, right? Zero cannot equal to four. But for the following system to be consistent, k cannot equal to 24. This is your answer. This is the question was asked for if the following system is consistent right here, then k cannot equal to what? Then k, 
k cannot equal to 24. And you could try it for yourself. If you put 24x plus 24y and do the whole system of equation, right? If you do another matrix, if you do 16, 16, 8, and if you do 24 and 24 and 16, you'll find out that later on that you'll receive a inconsistent system which will give you no solution at all. It will give you something 0 cannot equal to uh, a number. So here you go. For this question, your answer will be K cannot equal to 24.